Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaron with Aaron Fixes Stuff. Today is going to be just a quick video on how to replace a receptacle. Uh, I'm in a house that also, in addition to replacing the receptacle, also the old one is not grounded. So I'm going to add a ground to it and I'm going to show how to do it in the video. Um, so just so you get an idea. Here's what the old receptacle looks like. It's pretty old and painted over and ugly. And in addition, uh, if you look at the lights over here, you can tell that it has an open ground. So there's no ground wire. So there's two ways to add a ground. Um, I'm gonna do the easier one today. Uh, that's just gonna be kind of like a little bonus piece. Uh, if you have any questions when we're done, comment below. Uh, let's get started. All right, so obviously the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to want to um, disconnect power to the outlet. So we're gonna to go to the panel and do that. All right, so we're good. First thing we're gonna do is take the faceplate off. Quick little tip, sometimes over time, uh, people will paint and without taking the faceplate off and you can have paint kind of stuck to the faceplate. So always make sure but there isn't any anything caught on there, uh, no paint, because if there is, you're gonna risk uh, kind of peeling the paint off the wall and then you're gonna have to paint, and if you don't have the paint, that's gonna be uh, more work than you want to, so just make sure you're doing that. All right, now that we have that out, there's gonna be two screws. This house is from the 70s. Um, they didn't have a ground wire in these, you'll see in a minute. So something nice and why we're lucky with this one is because the wiring was done with conduit um, and the boxes are metal. So that means that basically the box itself is grounded, which is uh, pretty convenient for us. So there's two ways to do it, to add a ground wire. One is, it's called a grounding pigtail. Um, so it's just a pigtail that you can pick up. You can buy a pack of them at Home Depot. Um, and then you'd attach, it comes with a green screw, it attaches to the box. And on the other side, you would just um, connect it like you would with any other wire. This one, um, what we're gonna do is, if you buy the preferred outlets, this one right here, what it has on the bottom of it is this little guy and that actually serves as a ground so you don't need that pigtail. Um, so once we connect um, the wires and then close the ground screw, once we put it all together, when we test it, we should be grounded. And then strip it down with my wire strippers. Another thing you want to make sure of, the screws that you aren't going to use, make sure they're closed. So in our case, we're just going to connect to this one and that one, and these are closed, so that's good. We're just going to screw the ground in so that doesn't stick out. So there are several ways to do um, the wires. So you can loop them around the, the screw, um, or in this case, because it has that additional Try to focus in on it, the additional tab over here, right over there. We're just gonna slide the wire in there and then tighten it up. Do the same thing with the neutral wire. a little bit. All right, so just a little tip. If you are good, if you do want to use, if your outlet doesn't have that additional tab, uh, kind of like mine had, and it's just one of these, 
I do not recommend putting it in to the hole because what happens over time is it gets loose and actually the wire can come out just like that. So I don't recommend sticking into the back of the outlet but instead making a loop. So if you have one of these, if you look at this hole over here, right there, if you put the wire in through it and put your finger on the back, all you have to do is just do that and you create a nice loop. There you go, so that when you close it, it closes in the same direction as the screw. And what that does is when you tighten it, the wire won't move. If you do it the other way, you're not going to get as a secure connection. Plus, that's going to happen. And you don't want that over there. So just keep in mind that you want it to close in the same direction, or you want to loop it in the same direction as the screw. But because we're doing it this way, we don't have to worry about the loop. We're tight, and it's good to go. Next, I'm going to wrap this all up. And if I was using the grounding pigtail, I would just connect. So basically it would kind of look like this with a screw on the end, only longer I would connect a screw into the box. And then I would connect the ground to this. So it would connect straight directly from the box to the ground screw. The reason I do the the electrical tape is A, my brother is an electrician, a master electrician, I should say, and an electrical engineer. Um, and when he taught me how to do this, he always did it that way. That way the wires have, um, they don't have anything to touch over here. So it's just a quick step that'll keep it all nice and tight. Last step, we're gonna just screw this in. And test it. And now, if it's working correctly, this light and this light will both go on. So they did. And one last piece of advice, I also prefer um, the preferred outlet covers because they don't break, they're a little bit larger. So this is the regular size versus that one. So that way if the paint stopped, you know, at this line, you don't have to worry about painting because it's a bigger plate. All right, that's all for today. I hope you found this video to be educational or helpful. If you did, consider giving me a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, comment below. Let me know um, if you would have done anything differently or if you have any questions about what I did or didn't do. Uh, I appreciate your time and have a good day. Thank you.